So today guys I've got another video for you, it's going to be on the team of the season so far objectives Sabitzer card. I unlocked these just earlier on this morning, I couldn't get it last night, I couldn't get enough games in but I haven't locked it now, it wasn't too difficult. Um, I would definitely recommend doing this, he's 5 foot 10, high high, 3 star skill moves and 4 star weak foot and I put him alongside Vitzel in this team and I can already tell you it is the midfield of dreams, it is perfect. Looking at his stats and starting off with his pace, he's got 87 acceleration and 84 sprint speed which makes up that 86 pace alongside Vitzel. The two of them together are absolutely fantastic at recovering and getting back and winning the ball. He's got 90 shooting which is broken down into 90 attack positioning, 88 finishing, 96 shot power, 92 long shots, 87 volleys and 73 penalties. I wouldn't recommend taking penalties with him but if you do go into a penalty shootout with him, as long as you go the right way he's not going to miss um, and obviously the keeper dives the other way. But his finishing, that's one thing that I would say about him, you'll see in the clips here that he does seem to miss quite easy chances but his long shots and things like that, look, he hits them with enough power that he will get them on target every time, he's not too bad at free kicks. Um, I haven't actually scored a goal with him yet and I've played five games so far with him um, but I have been, I've been able to get through one on one but he does miss a couple of them chances and it is annoying but I will find a way to finish with him, it could just come down to what I'm doing, maybe I need to um, look at creating better angles for him to score, but he's shooting all in all, it's fine, um, if you can finish with him then you're going to have no problems, but 90 shooting, absolutely brilliant for the midfield card. I just want to mention his pace again because when he picks the ball up in midfield and he runs, he does get through quite quick and he will just power through, That's I've said it before about two rare type players, he's a little bit shorter than Vitzel but he still has that type of attribute where he can just power through um, and he does feel really really quick. So onto his passing now which is 91, he's got 94 vision, 86 crossing, 86 free kick accuracy, 93 short passing which I can already tell you like I said before with Vitzel it's the midfield of dreams. They don't give the ball away either of them. And they just. The fact that Vitzel was so cheap and that this Sabitza is free is unbelievable. You can literally get the perfect midfield with the perfect balance for 120 to 150k, depending on what you've got in your club. You might even be able to get both of them for free just by playing games, grinding out packs, things like that. Do the SBC and do these objectives because you will not lose the ball in midfield. Passing wise, if you're not a player for FIFA, you take your time and create your angles. Little one twos, I always say in the videos about the little triangles. But creating them little triangles, you will get past people's midfields very easily and you will break down defences. Because he's got the long passing as well and he can just pierce a defence, he can pierce the midfield and pierce a defence with one great through ball or one, you know, the, the RB and A or R1 and X, then powerful passes that go straight to the feet of the player and he'll take out four, five players in between him and the attacker that you're trying to get to. But his passing, you cannot fault it even slightly, he's absolutely amazing at passing. That 88 curve, as I say I haven't scored with him yet but he can with the ball and I don't know whether it's because I'm coming up against absolutely crazy keepers at the minute but finesse shots don't seem to be going in as much and I did struggle to actually get the two outside the box goals to unlock this guy and um, that's the only trouble I had with the objectives but he is fantastic at passing, he is unbelievable at passing and that short passing with the 93 and that vision of 94, they are his standout well stats there. The Just take your time with him and you will not lose the ball. I want to dribbling again, you cannot fault it. 89, 84 agility, he's way more agile than that. 90 balance, 94 reactions, 91 ball control, 89 dribbling and 84 composure. I think that low, low composure is why I'm missing as many chances as I, as I am. But the rest of his dribbling, you'll see in this gameplay, this is why I chose this gameplay. Although I do get beat, 
and he misses a couple of chances and he, he does highlight what I'm saying about him, the chances, but the dribbling. Take your foot off the accelerator, don't sprint and just use your analog just to dribble through and you will create so much space for yourself. He is so agile and he's fantastic at dribbling. I've said on a couple of these cards about stats that seem to lie and 84 agility is definitely one of them and that 84 composure is definitely one that isn't. That low composure does mean that once he's one on one he does put a couple of shots wide but that's the only thing that can fall on this card. Once you get used to him shooting and obviously you don't get a lot of goals from your midfield anyway, once you get used to being able to finish with him you have got the perfect midfielder. Now on to his defending and physical, I always do these two together. 86 interceptions, 84 heading accuracy, 90 defensive awareness, 84 stand tackle, 79 slide tackle. He's got the 80 jumper and he wins everything in midfield like Pixel. 94 stamina, he goes all game. He has got um, injury prone as one of his traits, but I haven't had him injured yet. Um, 84 strength and 82 aggression. He battles for every ball, he wins every ball in that midfield, he keeps every ball in that midfield and I keep saying he's the perfect partner to Witzel, so go out and do them. The combination of them two and him in this Bundes League team of the season is absolutely perfect. The actual fact that the players seem to be a lot cheaper than the Premier League and the Liga BBVA I, I don't quite understand why they are because these cards are fantastic. The Upamentano, I think he's sat at 300k. Compare that to a Diego Carlos, I drive half Upamentano. But I cannot recommend this guy enough. Seriously, do yourselves a favour and go out and get just complete your objectives. Grindy, it's the perfect time to right now. Make sure you get him, get him in your team. He's not SBC fodder. No way is this guy SBC fodder. I can't believe he is free. I said in the Vitzel review how much he would be if he was on the market. This guy will match it six, seven hundred k. Repeat myself again. Go out and get him. Do yourselves a favour. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm gonna keep bringing out as many reviews as I can. I'm gonna unlock the left mid next. I will do a review on him. I just couldn't bother doing the score battles matches at the minute, also trying to grind out to get this Savita. But I'll try and unlock him tomorrow. I'll get that review out tomorrow night. But I can already see with the two star wars that he will be going into SBC once the guaranteed bonus league one comes out. So again, like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you next time.